Della, where do you want this thing, babe? Um, you know, you can just go ahead and put it right here. What do you think, Maddie? Looks good from here. Oh. Mansion McDermott, I thought you were gonna help Jim and Della move it. He's helping plenty. Here, buddy. You can help unpack this box. Where did these go? Renee, let me help you with those. No, it's cool. I got it. Okay, thanks. I think that's about everything. One more thing. This, unfortunately, is gonna have to do as our kitchen table. I think it'll do. Oh! Where did you get that? At a 99 cent tag sale. Isn't it perfect? It's great. How did I get to marry her? <laughs> Congrats on your new home, guys. Even if it does mean I'm losing a roommate. I gotta go. Hey, you got plans for dinner, Renee? Maddie and I are thinking pizza. Pizza? Really? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks, but I have a date tonight. Oh, right, of course. Catch like you. Dad, you should go on dates too. <clears throat> Is it fun, Renee? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for your help. See you at work on Monday. See you no problem. Mm. Bye. Thanks, Renee. Bye. Time for us to go too, kiddo. Let's leave the newlyweds alone. Why do we have to leave newlyweds alone? That's a conversation for a different day. A different decade. Bye, you two. Enjoy the place. Bye. Thanks, man. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Alexander. Welcome home, Mrs. Alexander. <laughs> and I promise I will fix the cracks and I'll paint. We've already made this place perfect. How? Oh. Because you live here. Oh, we have to do something. What? Smile. A real smile. This is the ultimate irony, you know? I don't like getting my picture taken, and I married a woman who loves taking pictures. I feel for you. I really do. Let's get a few in front of your car. Oh, Del, it's just a heap of metal right now. It's not just a heap of metal. It's a heap of vintage metal. And more importantly, it's yours. Now go. One of these days, I'm gonna save my pennies and get a zoom lens so I can take close-ups of my unwilling subjects from far away. All right, now let's get a picture of you in that car. Aren't you cold? I'm freezing, but the sooner we get you in there, the sooner we can go inside. Hey, okay. There's so much work to do on this thing. Like getting a steering wheel? Well, that's the last thing. I'm gonna have to save up for it. I can get an axle from the dump, but the steering wheel, I wanna get the exact one that was made for this car. I'm gonna be an old man before I can drive this thing. And I'll be here when that happens. Smile. Okay, enough. <laughs> Look what I found. One of these days, you're gonna fix up your car to look just like your dad's. He'd have been so proud to see that. That car was made the same year he was born. He always used to say, Good things came out of 1955. <laughs> it's so great that we have a mantle. Yeah. Can't wait to hang our Christmas stockings from there. Wow. I can't believe it's that time of year already. No. We've only got three more weeks. We gotta get a tree. I love the way it makes the house smell. Mm. You know, as a kid, mm. even after my dad was gone, we always cut down our own tree. I want to do that with our family. Definitely. Hey, 
Good morning, Ms. Stella. Thank you for calling Bright and Clean. I'm your friendly customer service rep. Hi, guys. Really? The suds went all the way to the bathroom? Wow. Um, sir, would you mind just grabbing me the bottle of the product you use and reading me the back of the label? Okay, yeah, I'm seeing the problem. You use dishwashing liquid. It's not the same as the dishwasher liquid. Just go ahead and run the washer a couple times with some water and um, I think you'll be okay. My pleasure, I'm here to help. Thank you for calling Bright and Clean. You are so patient. I don't know how you do it. I can't wait for a couple days off at Christmas. Oh, I know, I mean, patient or not, I, I cannot wait for Christmas either. Except for, I don't know what to get for Jim. We could use a couple more weeks. Bite your tongue. <laughs> Fine. Hey, how was your date? Okay, well, uh, he, I think he chose cologne over soap. He chewed with his mouth open, and he kept calling me Regina. Where do you find these people? Well, um, I think Ian is interested. Maybe next time he asks you to dinner, you could take him up on his offer. Um, no. Shall I count the reasons? One, he is my friend, and I don't want to mess that up. Two, he's a widower, and his wife was a saint. Okay, I cannot compete with that. And three, he's got a kid. Okay, that's baggage. <sighs> I'm not looking for something so... heavy. Okay, Sarah has been gone for three years. Maddie's a great kid. And Ian, he's fantastic. He would treat you so well. There's that, too. He's too nice. Oh, don't be that girl. No, but he is. He's it, he's so helpful, so nice that there's no there's no mystery. There's no excitement. Okay, well, you know, you could just continue dating these immature jerks who have bad hygiene and even worse manners. All I'm saying is maybe it's time for you to want something a little more heavy. Oh. Good morning. This is Della. Thank you for calling Bright and Clean. I'm your friendly customer service rep. Oh, wow. The entire shirt disintegrated? Hey, Jesse. Another one? Yep. Thanks, kid. I heard you got yourself married. That's right. Adela's a pretty one. Between you and me, I'm not sure how a guy like me got a girl like her. Well, you treat her nice. You hear me? I hear you. Ian! Hey, buddy. Beer? Yeah. Can I have a whole picture? What's up? Well, for starters, I just came from the hospital. What happened? My mom, she slipped. Hurt her back. Which I feel terrible about, and then I feel guilty because I'm more worried about the fact that with her laid up, I lose my after-school childcare for a few weeks. Oh, man, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Miss Greenwood said she'd watch him. I can't ask her to do that, not without offering to pay her something. And I can't exactly afford to pay her, not this month. Maddie's asked Santa for an Xbox 360. Well, listen, man, I can help you out. I mean, I work late a lot anyway, and I'm sure I can change my hours. No, I can't ask you to do that. It's a lot of trouble. You didn't ask. I volunteered. And it's no big deal. Hey, Jesse, you think we could shake the schedule up a little bit so I can watch Ian's kid in the afternoons for a few weeks? Sure thing, Jeff. See? You sure you have the time? For you and Maddie, absolutely. You're gonna let me play the 360, right? Exhausted. I hate when you work late. You never get a chance to talk. I'm about to get even busier. I just told Ian that I was gonna watch Maddie after school for the next few weeks. Lucky Maddie. Is everything okay? 
Mm. And his mom fell. Mm. She's okay. She just needs time to rest and recuperate. You're a good friend. So, what do you want to talk about? Do you need me to impart some bartender wisdom? Well, I was just wondering if you have any ideas of what I could get my husband for Christmas. I already have everything I need. You're not going to be any help on this, are you? I don't know. I... There's nothing I really, really want. Christmas is nearly here. I'll think about it. All right. Something you really, really want, okay? Ready for lunch? Sure. He put the liquid fabric softener into the dryer. And he's mad at me because his clothes are sticky. <laughs> well, you know what, Renee? That is nothing. This woman called yesterday about a green stain on her white couch. And guess what the green stain was? Grass? Uh-uh. Paint? Nope. Marker? Car? Engine? Coolant? Oh, you know what? She was ranting and raving, and the whole time, all I'm thinking is, why would a person bring coolant into their living room, you know? <laughs> oh, you know what? That reminds me. You know that old car that Jim's been fixing up? Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't have a steering wheel. So I was thinking, for Christmas, I would get him one. Oh. And I was wondering if you guys could help me. Uh, Del, I don't even have a car. Mm. You've come to the wrong place. Mm. Simone, doesn't your boyfriend work at a body shop? Oh, yeah. Um, Ex-boyfriend. He was working on more bodies than just the cars. <laughs> oh, no, you guys, I'm fine. I I'm better off. He was a jerk. But um, I'm sorry, Del, I can't help you with the whole steering wheel thing. I might be able to. My husband has this friend, Gary Gennardi. They were in the service together. Well, he runs this pawn shop down on 10th Avenue. And I'm telling you, if he doesn't have it, he can find it. Really? You think so? It's worth a try. The guy can track down just about anything. Anything? What, like a non-lying, non-cheating boyfriend to bring home in time for Christmas? <laughs> Make that too. So, I heard you asked Santa for an Xbox 360. Yeah. But is it weird that I'm more excited about my present from Dad? No. What's he getting you? He's taking me ice fishing. I get told my own pull and everything. That sounds awesome, Maddie. What are you getting Della for Christmas? I was thinking about getting her one of those blanket things with sleeves. Maybe a kitchen knife, because whenever she's cooking, she always says we need better knives. What? It's no good? Aren't married people prisons supposed to be romantic? <laughs> All right. Fine. You got any good ideas? Well, when I was little, in first grade last year, Miss Krieger said that thing. It's a thought that counts. She's right. But this year, Miss Lucas said the best gifts are when you think real hard about what's special to the other person. Because it shows you care. That's why, when we were making ornaments, I made Dad a football one. Even though he yells at the TV, I know he likes football a lot. It's an egg. Oh, that's a nice old Nikon. Yeah, my wife loves it. Uh, but she's always saying she can't take close-up shots. Yeah, the basic lens on this doesn't do a whole lot. Um... This lens here will give you a wide angle. And this one is a zoom. If your wife's really into photography, she's got to have them both. The wide angle is 400 and the zoom is 700. But if you take the pair, I'll give you a deal. Can we set them aside for a few weeks? Christmas? Yep. No problem. Great. Thank you. Well, I should get this thing back before my wife notices it's gone. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Can 
help you? I hope so. Are you Gary? Ask me. Hi, I'm Della. Hillary Brodsky gave me your information. I think you know her husband. I sure do. Any friend of John's a friend of mine. What can I do for you, Della? Oh, my husband is fixing up this car. Is that an old Chevy Bel Air? Sure is. Without a steering wheel? That's where I'm hoping you come in. You want just a steering wheel, or do you want the steering wheel? I want the steering wheel, the one that's made for that car. Well, I'll make some calls, but uh, a vintage piece of equipment like this, in good condition, it's going to cost a pretty penny, three or four hundred bucks. Um, well, you know, I, I've been saving for Christmas, and I also have some rainy day money, so I'll make it work. I'll leave your number, and I'll see what I can do. Is that a zoom lens? Sure is. You got a camera for this? I have an old automatic Nikon. I could make you a deal. Throw the lens in with the steering wheel, if I find it. Thanks, but um, I'm going to be stretched as it is with this present. OK, but just in case you change your mind. Oh, one I'd, uh, I'd be happy to take that Nikon off your hands. That is not for sale. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. You know, Hillary said you could find just about anything. I'll get right on it, Della. I was just running errands. Hey, you know, I forgot to show you these. Oh, wow. Dell, these are great. I promise I'll learn how to become a better subject. <laughs> you coming to bed soon? Uh, yeah, in a minute. last night and parked it somewhere else. No, why? I promise you, I locked it. I remember the, the moment I put the key in the lock. I, I locked it for sure. In all honesty, ma'am, you probably did. But that make and model, it's not too hard for a thief to get past the lock. What do you think the chances are of us getting it back? Not great. We don't get a lead in the next couple of hours. Most likely, it's been taken apart for parts as we speak. For the best deals in town, take a look at our happy holiday specials. It is a lot of money. But you know, it's a lot nicer than our other car. You know, maybe we don't even need a car. No way, Dell. It took you over an hour to get to work on the bus yesterday. If we get this car... We're gonna have nothing left in our savings. Yeah. You know, I have been putting a little money aside for Christmas. Me too. So, if we don't get any presents this year... We could do that. Okay. <sighs> no Christmas presents. It's a beautiful Zoom lens. Whoa. So you guys agreed on no presents, and you're getting her the ultimate present? Yep. <laughs> you're going to get in trouble. She's not going to get you anything. She'll feel bad. She gives me everything I need just being her. 
Oh. Wow. What? You get any sweet around that wife of yours, you're gonna get cavities. <laughs> Might be able to find you one next year. You could save up. Or maybe I could just get a second job. How are you gonna explain that to Jim? Um I could just tell him. I You're the worst liar ever. I love working on that thing. It's gonna take a miracle to get it running. Well, Christmas is coming up. That's when miracles happen. That's a good point. I'm gonna go take a shower. Oh, hey, don't forget we have dinner tomorrow night with Ian and Maddie. And Renee? Yeah? You know, you're not gonna get them together just by putting them in the same room together, right? Well, I'm not gonna get them together unless they're in the same room together. I love you. Love you. I even asked for more hours here, but they can't do it. Yeah, lucky for you. Believe me, you do not want to spend more time here. This place is clearly affecting your judgment if you'd even consider it in the first place. What do you mean? Oh, come on. If the callers got any dumber, they'd be those people who actually use hair dryers while they're sleeping. I mean, really, they have to put that on the tag? Really? Somebody needs a vacation. Yeah. Thank you, Dill. Did you look down at the department store? They always need people this time of year. I did, but the hours conflict with my work here. Mm -hmm. The only lead I was able to find is this housekeeping position at that new hotel across town. Oh, that fancy place. What's it called? The Allenby House. Oh. It's great, because the hours are at night, so I can still make it work with my job here. Mm-hmm. Dill, are you sure about this? Doing laundry at night to buy Jim a steering wheel? If you could see the look on his face while he works on that car, it's worth it. I'm Mr. Greer. Oh, hi. I'm Bethany. Are you here to interview for the job? Yeah. Hi, I'm Della. Mr. Greer is running just a little late. Um, would you just have a seat? Sure. Thanks, Bethany. Get going. Del and I are having some friends over for dinner. We 
three are gonna have to make fun of me tomorrow. Ciao. I was just about to head over to your place. Do you need me to bring anything? No, but I might need a favor. I'm at the Allen B House Hotel still, and they're running a little bit behind schedule. Might be a little late. Can you cover for me? And so it begins. Renee, I got you covered, Del. Knock him dead. Thank you. This is Alexander. Mr. Greer, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for considering me for this job. Pleasure. Maddie would be here, Ian. Well, we, we, we never miss Della's spaghetti. So Della had to work late, huh? I thought the customer service lines only stayed open until 5. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, they're trying this new thing. Extended hours. I think they make the customers pay for it or something. Huh. Yeah. Only the best customer service reps were asked to try it out. So I guess I didn't make the cut. <laughs> Huh. It's a pilot program. You know, like when a company needs to... I'm so sorry about that. Hey, baby. Hey. hey. So, how's this uh, pilot program at work? Um, it's great. Um, it's the best pilot program ever. Oh, Ian. Looks like we're not gonna have spaghetti tonight. It's great. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. I am. Um, I just, you know, I kind of figured that um, it's carbs and and sauce and cheese. So it's like, you know, everybody loves cheese. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Right. Renee, I like your necklace. Oh, thanks, Maddie. It's my favorite. It's really sparkly. Hey. Maddie, <laughs> we don't touch people's necklaces without asking. But you're right. It's very nice. Looks very pretty on you. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> so, um, Maddie, did you guys get your Christmas tree yet? Yeah, huh? It's so tall. Where's your Christmas tree? Well, Del and I are actually going to cut down our own tree, like I did with my dad when I was a kid. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it is cool. Hey, Maddie, it's getting late. We should probably go. But Jim is going to show us the car first. He's absolutely right. I did say that. Five minutes? OK. Renee, do you want to come and see the car? Mm, thanks, Maddie, but I'm going to hang out with Della. OK. Della, hmm? you have to hang up your stuff. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Let's get the show on the road. <laughs> what? I feel like the kid is wooing me now. But isn't it nice to be wooed? Anyway, did you get the job? I did. I start Monday. Okay, just be careful. Why? Because you are the worst liar. Oh. Best pilot program ever. <laughs> Everyone likes cheese. Oh, come on, a few more gems like that. Jim's gonna know you're up to something. Well, he's been working in the bar so much and watching Maddie and working on the car. So hopefully he won't even notice I'm gone. I just keep thinking of his face when he sees that steering wheel wrapped under a tree that we cut down together. I mean, it's perfect. Thanks for dinner, Dale. Spaghetti next time. And don't give up on Renee, Ian, okay? You gotta be persistent. She'll come around. Okay. <laughs> Night, buddy. Night. Inside. Big day tomorrow. 
That's the one. You sure? I'm sure. What do you think? I think it's our tree. Ooh. Strong mountain man thing you're doing is really sexy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, real sexy. I'll show you strong and sexy. <laughs> Good morning. This is Della. Thank you for calling bright and clean. <laughs> you used a whole bottle of bleach, huh? Hey, what's going on? Mr. Greer is reasonable, but he runs a tight ship paint covers, and these are the washing machines. This is Peter. And now over here's our press. Thanks, kid. Feeding it along. Where does it go? Seven times seven. Hey, baby. Hey. Uh, you're home early. Yeah, the bar was dead, so they closed up shop. Okay. What have you been up to? Um, I was, uh, just... I was just, uh, taking a gym class. This late? Yeah. Um, it was just me and Renee and the girls. You know, we, um... It's kind of this new thing. Kickboxing. Hmm. You gonna show me your moves? <laughs> I bet you look really cute. Kickboxing. Um, maybe later. Just kind of tired. I'm gonna take a shower. Okay. Mm. Love you. Love you. Hey, stranger. Morning, sunshine. What time did you get out here? Like five. Boys and their toys. Don't forget, we have to shoot our Christmas photo tonight. Okay. Have a good day. Hey, Gary, it's Della Alexander. Yeah, no, I, um, I ran into a little problem with my rainy day money. No, I definitely, definitely still want it. I just, um, I probably won't be able to get you the money till right up before Christmas. But I'm gonna do it. You would do that? Wow, thank you. Bye. Hey, sweetie. Yeah? You want to come in and take our Christmas photo? I was thinking we could take it in front of the fireplace. Sounds good. Just give me five more minutes. Christmas decorations. Oh, that reminds me. We have to decorate our tree. Want to drink some popcorn with me later? 
Sounds delicious. It's not to eat, silly. It's for decorating. I'll make some extra then. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yes, ma'am, but it clearly says on the bottle that it's furniture polish. No, it's not not polish for your grandma's silver. Yes, of course. All right, well, thank you for calling the family of Bright and Clean Products. Don't hesitate to call us again. Hey, it's me. Okay, I'll meet you there. Hillary gonna get you home? Yep. Great. Enjoy date night. Thank you. What are you guys doing? We're going to the movies. You're adorable. So, uh, how many times have you seen this movie now? Uh, 30. 30. Or maybe like 60. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, honey, I gotta take this. Hi. Hello? This is Alexander. Yeah? One of your fellow employees has not shown up for tonight's shift. I need you to come into work. Uh, right now? Five minutes ago would have been preferable. But I'm a reasonable man. Um, uh, okay, yeah, I'll be there. Good. <sighs> Who's that? Uh, Renee. Something wrong? Yeah, she went out with this guy, and he was a total jerk. She's super upset and was wondering if I could come over. Is that okay? Well, why don't you just invite her to meet up with us? Could cheer her up. You know, I think that might make things worse because there's, you know, all these couples and families around, and yeah, you're fine taking the bus home, right? I love you. all about cleaning products. I'd like to be left alone. Alone? But, sir, it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, sir. Don't make merry myself at Christmas. I can't afford to make idle people merry. Uh, but the poor of London, sir. Uh, gentlemen, are there no prisons? Night, Bethany. See you tomorrow. about the movie. Poor Renee. She was really upset, so now I'm just exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed. You coming in? Oh, I just got a new part. I haven't had a chance to work on the car yet. Oh. Are you gonna come in soon? Probably not for a little while. Night. Night. Christmas photo looking like that? Well, just give me 10 minutes to clean up. Oh, actually, can you just have a seat so I can check the lighting? Okay. Hi, Jim Alexander's phone. 
Hi, Della. It's Jesse down at the Magi's Crown. Is Jim there? Um, yeah, he's here. Is something wrong? Well, yeah, actually, he's supposed to be here. He switched shifts with Bill. You're supposed to be at work right now. What? Je I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. I can be there in 15 minutes. Bye. I'm sorry. Oh, I have an idea. If we can't take the picture together, just make a composite. Jim. Okay. I think. Marriage can be tough, Wilson. Tell me about it. Why do you think I'm in here every day? Honey, is that all you're eating? Oh, what, are you on a diet? No, I'm not on a diet. This is ever since I started working two jobs, I haven't had much time to go grocery shopping. Oh. You guys, I'm fine. No, please, my butt will thank you. <laughs> Couldn't Jim go grocery shopping? In theory, yeah. <laughs> but it is all paying off. Well, hello. Nice work, Della. One more paycheck, and that steering wheel is Jim's. Can I just hold it? No. Um, please? I need paint supplies. You need what? Paint supplies. I decided to paint my apartment light yellow. I thought it might improve my general outlook. But I'm paying rent on the whole apartment, and I'm not letting anyone else move in until I find someone that I like, who's normal. That means I really have to watch my money. And the paint was so expensive that I couldn't bring myself to buy all the brushes and stuff. So now I have gallons of sunny lemon and no way to get it up on the walls. Oh, you know who's got that stuff? Who? Ian. Of course he does. Mm. Last summer he painted Maddie's room and he put up all these little fire engines and trucks. Oh, isn't that darling? It is darling. Um, Della said you, you needed to borrow some paint supplies, so... Oh, that's so nice. And, uh, out of the blue. <laughs> uh, come in. Oh, okay, here? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so, um, we have a couple of drop cloths, um, a tray, um, some brushes, regular, oh, and a roller. Oh, yeah, some, uh, some, some painter's tape. What's painter's tape? Trust me, you'll need it. Yep, yeah, so, if you'd like some help, I would be happy to come over for a little painting party. Oh. You know what, um, you have much better things to do. No. But thank you so much for all this stuff. Uh, I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. No rush. Okay, goodbye, Renee. Hey, man. Beer, please. Bad day? Apparently, Renee needed to borrow some paint supplies. So I brought them over to her place. You are a glutton for punishment, man. 
I suggested the painting party. <laughs> She's just so pretty and funny. She makes me nervous. When I get around her, I act like a total dork. Do people still say dork? Yeah, when it applies. <laughs> Della keeps saying, be persistent. She'll come around, she says. I'm done making a jerk out of myself. I mean, Della's instincts can't be that good. She did choose you, after all. Look, I wish I could stay and help you drown your sorrows, buddy. But I haven't seen much of my well-meaning meddler of a wife lately, so I'm going to go home and surprise her. Jesse, I'm off. See ya. Enjoy that beer. Dork. Mrs. Alexander, the care instructions on this item of clothing very clearly indicates it is to be dry cleaned, not machine washed. Mrs. Warren is beside herself. I am so sorry, Mr. Greer. There's usually another bag for dry cleaning, but Mrs. Warren didn't separate her things, and I just, I didn't realize. The Allenby House Hotel is a first-class establishment, Mrs. Alexander. We do not blame our guests. Yes, of course. I'm well aware you have a fine work ethic. And up until now, I've been quite pleased with your efforts here. Thank you. However, a wrong must be corrected. Mrs. Warren has submitted a receipt for this. That money will be taken from your next paycheck. I spend my days talking to people that misuse cleaning products. I mean, how could I have been so stupid? Uh, honey, you were probably just overtired. Yeah, from all the running around you've been doing. Yeah, and so what? So some snotty woman's shirt gets ruined. But don't you worry about her, no, Del? I mean, I don't even really care. I mean, I, yeah, I feel bad. But by the looks of that blouse, I did her a favor. <laughs> it's just, this was my last paycheck before Christmas. I mean, Christmas is three days away, and now I don't have enough money for Jim's gift, and I just, I don't know what to do. Well, uh, how much money are we talking about here? I mean, I don't have a whole lot extra lying around, but, but if we pooled our resources... Well, maybe it'd be enough. No, you guys, I could never take money from you. That's so sweet. Gosh, you guys are such a great friend. <laughs> you know what, Del? It just wasn't meant to be. And that's okay. She's right, though. Do not kill yourself. When we go caroling tonight, I want to sing Deck the Halls and Jingle Bells. Well, you better finish your homework first, then. Uh, look again, buddy. Last time I checked, 8 plus 14 was not 23. Hi, guys. How we doing? Oh, 22. Hello to you too, kiddo. Hey, man, you think I could borrow your car? I have to pick Della's Christmas present up. I don't feel like taking the bus. Sure. Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Hey, you think Della's been acting weird lately? What? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Never mind. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay.
Bella, hello. Wasn't sure you're coming back. You still want the steering wheel? Definitely. I just um, <clears throat> ran into a little problem getting the money. Oh. So, I was wondering. What would you give me for this? Nice one, Della. But I thought you didn't want to sell it. I love that camera. But, um, I love Jim more. You know, Della, in my line of work, I'm used to seeing people selling the most prized possessions on a daily basis. Usually, there's a desperation attached to it. It's a nice thing seeing such a selfless gesture. It reminds a person of all the good in the world. Thanks. That means a lot. Mrs. Alexander? Are you on the schedule tonight? No, I'm actually just here to pick up my last paycheck. Your last paycheck? I hope the incident with Mrs. Warren's clothing didn't scare you away from the Ellen B. house. No, of course not. I just got this job to make some extra money to help pay for my husband's Christmas presents. But as it turns out, working two jobs makes it pretty hard to see my husband. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. I'm not feeling well. Jim? Hey, Maddie. Hi, Bella. Oh, Merry almost Christmas. Hey, you ready for some caroling? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Hey. Hey, Della. Where's Jim? Uh, he was here. He said he wasn't feeling well and he left. Really? Go get your coat. you're not feeling well. I hope everything's okay. Call me. Hi, who's ready for some caroling? <laughs> you look great, Mrs. Green. Oh, thanks, Ian. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. Oh, deck dolls with boughs of holly. Ba la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Don't we now our gay apparel? Ba la 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 la. Troll the ancient yuletide carol. Ba la 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 la.
okay? Where were you when I called? Where was I? Yeah, I went to uh, Ian's for caroling. He said you weren't feeling well. You weren't caroling. Yeah, I was. Where were you that night, Della? I was caroling with Ian and Maddie. Fine. Where were you before that? I was with Renee. Don't lie to me. What's going on? I saw you. You saw me what? I saw you with some guy going to a hotel. Uh, are you accusing me of cheating on you? If you're not, then tell me where you were tonight, Della. Who you were with. Why you ran out at the movie theater. Why you're suddenly taking late night kickboxing classes. How dare you? How could you think that I would betray you like that? And now that we're on the subject, where have you been lately? What are you talking about? We never ever took our Christmas card photo. We never decorated the tree. All because you're in the garage working on that car. I have gone to bed alone, night after night. How is that supposed to make me feel? So, because I've been working on the car and you've had to go to bed alone for a few nights, you can just go find somebody else? <sighs> I'm leaving. I'm not gonna stay here with somebody who doesn't trust me, doesn't believe me. Is this such hurtful thing? It is hurtful. And you should know because you did those things. I mean, you didn't even deny it. I shouldn't have to. Yeah, go. Maybe your boyfriend will take you in. Could I stay here tonight? And maybe a hundred other nights? Um, sure. Jim accused me of cheating on him. What? Yeah, I've been trying to do something special, and, and what, what do I get? I get accusations of cheating. I told you to be careful. You're such a bad liar. Why didn't you just tell Jim the truth? I have nothing to say to that man. Jim, buddy, come on. You can't really think Della would cheat on you. I mean, it's Della. She's like one of the best people I know. Probably on the entire planet. Mm, thanks for the loyalty, man. Why would you think something like this? Well, for one, I confronted her and she didn't deny it. Okay. And she's been missing lately. Missing? I mean, what does that even mean? Missing. She gets done work at like 5 o'clock, but for the past few weeks, she's come home past 10 some nights with no explanation. And she keeps canceling plans. Or no, not even canceling, just not showing up. Or leaving early. And today, I saw her with some other guy walk into a hotel. He had his hands all over her. And she got all offensive when I called her out. And what am I supposed to think, Ian? Yeah, exactly. It's my fault for thinking I can make someone as special as Della happy. Jim, come on. You know what? I'm sorry to bother you. Jim think that about Della has he gone crazy I know it's like accusing Mother Teresa of stealing your wallet you don't think I mean they will get back together right I don't know 
When I suggested this morning that she call him, I thought for a second that she was either going to burst into tears or throw something at me. Or both. So I left him alone. Okay, okay. Seriously, Ian? Manny insisted. Says making snowman won't be the same without you. Come on. Dad said you were busy, but you don't look busy. Bella, why is the door open? You better like this color, because if you hate it, I might lose it. No, 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 I love it. Jeez, how long did this take you? I don't know, I started around lunch. Spent the morning watching Christmas movies about blissfully happy families, and I just couldn't take it anymore, so I needed to do something. Well, has the color helped at all? I mean, yellow's supposed to make you feel more optimistic. Yeah, I feel super. Okay, then. Why don't I help? Why don't you spend Christmas with my family? We're going to church tomorrow night, and then there's the big dinner on Christmas Day. I don't know. Well, you can't spend Christmas alone, Della. You know, that's it. You're coming. I, I don't want to make things uncomfortable for your family. That's impossible. You're coming. <clears throat> what? I know it's lame having a fake tree. It doesn't smell good. But then again, I don't spend all of January vacuuming up pine needles. No, it's not that. It's the Christmas tree lighting. Another Alexander family tradition that's never going to happen. But we'll go. No, I can't. You can, and we will. You can't hole yourself up in my apartment, Della, and you can't miss the tree lighting. Come on, you love it. Hey, buddy. I'm cold. What's Jim doing? He's thinking. Leave him alone. Uh, get over here, buddy. Okay. Go get one of your big hugs. Thanks, old man. I needed that. So, how'd your snowman turn out? Great. We made two. One for me. One for Dad. We were going to make another one for you, but then I got snow on my boot, and we had to come in. I'm going to get dinner started. Maddie, juice? Okay. Jim? You got anything stronger? I'll see what I can do. After dinner, we're going to the tree lighting. Dad said you couldn't come sledding because you were tired. But you can't be tired now. You have to come. I don't know. It's only one day, all year. You have to come. Renee! You made it, finally. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> Hey, do you guys want some cider? You know, I'm actually just gonna go watch from over there. I always watch from over there. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dillingham Square Annual Christmas Tree Lighting. Della? Merry Christmas! Oh, Bethany. Now, where is that lucky husband of yours? I can't wait to meet him. Oh, 
don't worry. I, I won't spill the beans. Um, you know, he must have just wandered off. I'm gonna go find him. I'll be right back. There they are. Hi, everybody. Oh, she looks great. Love. Mr. Wilson. Hey, Jim. No, you came to this. Oh, something to do. Not much else going on around here tonight. Where's that pretty wife of yours? I want to meet her. Go find her. In just a couple of minutes, we light this year's tree. So please take a malt cider or a hot chocolate to stay warm. Donated by the Dillingham Ladies Auxiliary. Hi, Del. was a bad idea. We can leave if you want. No. No, you're right. I am... Um, I look forward to this every year. I want to see it. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jesse. Hey, man. Hey. What's up, man? You're going the wrong way. Uh, Jim. Merry Christmas. Hey. Hey, Mitch. Merry Christmas, Jess. Listen, you made our Christmas over at our house. The kids were so excited when wow, they said... Wow, that's great. Merry Christmas to you and your whole family. I was headed this way, actually. What'd I say? Okay. It's about that time. I sent him home with my neighbor. I figured you and I should talk. This is a big mess, Neil. I can't believe it. Jim and Della. I can hardly believe it myself. But I mean, how could she? How could she what? Cheat? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Jim told me, Renee. She didn't deny it when he asked her, and Della has been totally missing in action lately. She's been working two jobs, Ian. To save up, to get her suspicious, good-for-nothing husband the world's greatest Christmas present. What? Yeah, so she didn't tell him. She didn't want to ruin the surprise, and then she was so hurt. I mean, really, how could he think that? Jim, he's always talking about how he's so lucky to have Della. He doesn't deserve her. 
Ugh, I can't believe this. Those two are so stupid. They're madly in love. That can make you stupid sometimes. Jim's like a zombie. He's dying without Della. I know. Della's not herself. She's so bitter and sarcastic. It's usually my territory. Yeah. <laughs> we can fix this. What? We have to fix this. We can't let them be a part of Christmas. Two people who love each other as much as they do. We have to do something. You're right. Hot chocolate? It's pretty cold out here. Thanks. For who? Jackie Kennedy? Cute. For church tonight. These are my church clothes. Chosen for their extra coverage, boring colors, and magical powers. Magical powers? Mm-hmm. When I wear them, my mother doesn't throw a scarf over me and say things like, how do you expect someone to buy the goods if you show them off for free? Besides, it's Christmas. I consider this part of her present. That one. Thank you. What are you gonna wear? I don't know. So you figured that once you got to my house, you would uh, sleep? Sleep? Hmm. Lie on my couch like a sloth. Sorry when I ran out on my husband, I didn't plan out my wardrobe. I know. But it's Christmas Eve, Della. You can't go to church in a turtleneck and ratty sweatpants. You need a dress and some shoes that don't have a rubber sole. Uh, maybe I just won't go. No way. It's Christmas. And you're the one who left her husband. If you're so sure that that was the right thing to do, it's time to get your life back on track. Start doing things that matter to you. Starting right now. Hello, it's been two days. Yep, well, <clears throat> tough love, Della. Go home and get some nicer clothes for the holiday. Okay, look. I will call Ian. Get him to make sure that Jim is out of the house, okay? <sighs> My mother does not think that elastic is very ladylike. Do you really want to unleash her wrath on Christmas? Not that I wouldn't appreciate the attention off of me for once, but... <sighs> All right, well, you know what, your mother doesn't know what she's missing. I would love to see you tell her that. Maybe I will. Jim. Jim. What's wrong, buddy? I just remembered. You're stalking. My what? You're stalking. You have to go home and get it. Maddie, I, I can't do that. You have to. Dad, Jim has to go get his stocking so Santa can put presents in it. You're right, Maddie. Well, no, it's okay, Maddie. I, I don't need a stocking this year. Santa can just give my presents to someone else. But they're your presents. Yeah, man. The elves have been working on it special. All year. Just for you. Oh, come on. You said yourself she wouldn't be there. It's a big deal. Fine. Say no to that face. Okay. Okay. You McDermott men will not take no for an answer. I'll be back later. I'm borrowing the car. Keys. Did I do okay, Dad? That was perfect, Maddie. I don't know what you're so worried about, Dad. Santa would have brought Jim's present, even if his stocking wasn't here. 
She knows. She's Santa. It doesn't matter anyway. What Jim wants is too big to fit in the stocking. Oh, yeah? What's that? Della. Hi, I need to report a stolen car. This is an emergency. It's the second car stolen from our house in a month. My husband loves that car. Della. Jim. Your car was stolen. And this woman says it's not an emergency and we have to go fill out some forms. Hello? I'm sorry, there's been a mistake. Merry Christmas. What are you doing? The car wasn't stolen. Then where is it? In Mitch Collins garage. I fixed it up as best I could and I sold it to him. Christmas present. You got me a present? We said no presents. <laughs> okay, <I'll> open it. <laughs> How could you afford this? I got a second job. You got a second job? You've had a second job this whole time? Baby, I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could... You're so wonderful. You deserve so much better than an idiot like me. Look, I know this can't make up for it. But I sold the car to get you this. So much for no Christmas presents. said you wanted to zoom lens. I wanted you to have it. See, I'm not always such a jerk. It's perfect. I sold the camera. What? Why? I didn't make enough at my second job to buy your present. So you sold your camera to give me the steering wheel? And you sold your car to get me this zoom lens. And now. <laughs> what a pair we are. Yeah. We deserve each other. That is. If you'll still have me. 
course. I don't want anyone but you. I love you. I love you too. I promise I will never doubt you again. And I will never lie to you again. Even if it is for a really good surprise. Hey, you wanna try it out? Sure, I'll try it out if you take a photo of me. <laughs> oh no! Ian! Where's Maddie? I don't know, Jim. Oh no! Jealous famous Christmas cookies! But Maddie's not gonna be able to have any! Oh no! Jim! I'm right here! Dad! Oh, oh. Tell Jim I'm right here! <laughs> Cookies are delicious, Dal. I'm just glad you were home to make them. Mm, me too. Well, speaking of home, you two lovebirds gonna be home next Saturday night? I, I think so. We don't plan, right? Mm, no, no plans. Well, I was hoping that you'd be willing to hang out with Maddie so that you'd be free to go out on a date. Uh, with me. Um, I mean, if you, if you want to, that is. Well... I think he means yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Renee. That'd be great. Renee, my dad thinks you're really pretty. Hey, come here. What? This. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mrs. Alexander. Merry Christmas, Mr. Alexander. Thank mm -hmm. you.